Malnutrition is a universal issue that no country in the world can afford to overlook. But what is malnutrition? It is the result of lack in proper nutrition. This could be not having enough to eat, not having access to nutritious foods, or having imbalances in types of food eaten. But what does nutrition have to do with public health? Well, food and drink can directly impact whether or not we are healthy. According to the World Health Organization, roughly 1.9 billion adults worldwide are overweight and 460 million are underweight. And 41 million children under the age of five are overweight, 159 million are stunted, and 50 million are wasted. And those are just the numbers from 2016. Those working in public health nutrition work through questions to figure out how to address these numbers. Do you get enough food and drink to have energy for your day? When was the last time you ate? Where did you get your last meal? Were you able to make it at home or did you pick it up on the go? Do you have access to a market or grocery store? Can you get to that market? And how far away is it? And are the goods there even affordable? These are just some of the things that public health nutrition professionals work through. They focus on how food and drink can positively or negatively impact the health and well-being of humans and animals. They research things like the nutritional value of foods, whether or not there is easy access to ingredients, the impact of culture and society on types of meals, and even the way that growing food affects our land, ocean, and air. Working in public health nutrition uses nutrition science at a larger level to address things like how to increase access to food in food deserts, which are places where there is no easy access to any source of food, how to address undernutrition, overnutrition, or obesity, how physical activity works with nutrition and health, how to tackle world hunger as the population of the earth continues to increase and space to grow food decreases. These things can be worked on at a community level, a city level, a state level, or even at an entire country level. By working directly with policies and laws in creating educational programs for children and adults in humanitarian settings out in the field, with food safety at food producing companies, or even with conducting foodborne epidemiology research. And that's just naming a few of the many ways you can work with nutrition in public health. Nutrition is so integral to human life that it can be combined with many aspects of public health and can be in so many settings. Here at NYU GPH, we train leaders to work in food and nutrition research and policy and how to identify and work through current and emerging public health nutrition challenges.